There we go. That looks pretty nice. Let's see if I can move him around a little bit. That's it, mate. Okay, where are you? Perfect. Good morning, folks. My name's Kev Russell. I'm the designer and manufacturer of the KR Macro Diffuser System. You're watching this, obviously, because you've either bought one of these or you're intending to buy one. So let's get into it. This is what you get in the mail. You get one of these folders. And inside is the Macro Diffuser kit in a reusable pouch with a zip. I'm going to undo the zip, we'll take everything out and I'll explain to you what is included in the kit. Let me put these aside. Okay, we have a large rubber band which goes around your flash and holds the diffuser in place on the flash. We have a piece of foam that goes into the Miki uh, MK320 diffuser which dumbs it down slightly. We have a, another ring, elasticized ring, which holds the diffuser in place on the lens behind the 46 to 52 mil uh, adapter, which screws on the front of the 60 mil lens. Okay, the first thing we do, guys, is we assemble the flash. Now I choose to use the Miki MK320 flash because it's a low profile, low, very low profile and very light flash compared to the Godox, which sits up way higher. Um, we'll assemble this, we'll put the two batteries, go into the flash. By the way, you don't need to take them back out again because on the Miki flash it has a little charging point just there uh, on the side, which allows you to plug in a, US, a micro USB and uh, charge it in situation. Now, we put the rubber band on the flash, ready for when we install the diffuser. The little diffuser that comes with the Miki flash, I provide you a little piece of foam to fit in there. That sits into there, like so, um, and just clips on the front of the of the flash. Now this ring here, obviously the adapter ring, goes onto the lens and just screws in place there. That is to actually hold this ring here in place behind it so that it doesn't, um, so the diffuser stays in place. Okay now when we're putting the diffuser together because it's been packed in a, in a flat pack for, for a little while, we need to go in and possibly recrease these bends. And the easy way to do that is just don't be frightened, just pull it over like so and squash it down on both sides. Crease these two in, they can go all the way in. It's pretty pliable, this material. And once we've done all that, it's been recreased, it'll retain its shape. Then all we do is just clip it together. We make sure we put the ring on this tab before connecting it into the center there. And there's your diffuser, all set up and pretty much ready to go. It's ready to install on the camera. Okay, folks, now we've got all this assembled, we can go ahead and we put the flash onto the camera this slides in the hot shoe, screw down the, the clamp, tilt the flash over. Now we have the flash on the camera and I'll do it this way because I'm right handed. The flash, the diffuser can just go over the top of the flash like so and then you slide the, the tabs on the sides and the top back under the rubber band on the on the flash itself and push it back 
to where it, feel, where it looks that it's going to fit. And then the front ring on the, on the diffuser goes around the adapter that's provided in the, uh, in the kit. And that's your diffuser attached to the flash and to the camera. You're right to go. Okay folks, we've come to the end of the day's shoot and we want to disassemble the diffuser and put it back in the sleeve to carry in your backpack or whatever you need. First thing we do is unclip the rubber ring on the front. We then unclip the diffuser from underneath the rubber band. Put the camera out of the way so it doesn't get knocked over. We then unclip the centre clip, take the rubber ring off, unclip the joiner, fold it back out of the way, fold the diffuser about down flat, grab our pack, stick that back in the pack. And then it's folded down nice and flat so you can store it in your camera bag. You can leave the rubber ring on the flash. It's not going to hurt leaving it there. And uh, then all you have to do is exactly what I said in the video to put it back together next time you want to use it. So thank you very much for your patience and I hope you, uh, hope you got something out of this. Thank you.